Christy brought up a, a lot of good points, but there is something very, very important, and that is that when somebody um, experiences sexual violence, it is not isolated to just that date. There is still pain. There is still pain that lasts. There's pain for the family members that um, love these survivors. And so um, today is great. This crowd is great. I mean, you got, you got, yeah. Um, and you, you know, I get some sense of peace and healing from the experiences I've had, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to take that away. But there's a problem. When you leave, this crowd is not going home with you. You are going to be going home alone. And a lot of us, when we're home alone, going out to get resources can be very daunting or impossible. We've got some great, you know, radical women are doing what they do, but they're not at home with us. So I'm going to give you one resource that is for you. It's super, super easy. It's part of your self-care toolkit because, as Christy mentioned, PTSD, you know, not very many people can survive that kind of a situation and not come out with something. And so, um, it's a, it's a website, it's called ptsdforums.org, and when you are alone, there is a big community of people there. If you do not have support, if you are not getting help, if you are still just waiting for it to go away, at least click on a website. Do one thing for yourself, if you still haven't moved into, thank you, if you haven't moved into treating, moving on, healing symptoms, finding ways to work with it, please do that, because, um, you're the, the perpetrators don't deserve one more a day. And your supporters, your family members, there's stuff for them too. And if it weren't for that website, I would not be standing up here today because I, I already posted on there three times this morning. I'm so scared to come here. So um, I'm just going to ask you guys to do some self-care besides the bigger political things. And um, Robin, was it Robin or Jesse? Jesse. 